this is Reticia again. I'm doing another entry to the Nails by You contest. Um, this is actually a continuation of what I was just doing. I basically just finished the other. I painted my fingers, um, sorry, opposite colors from the design. But I'm just going to actually continue on doing this next tutorial based off of that. Uh, basically, you want to choose a base coat to paint your nails with first. This is just the finger paints, um, regular base coat. Put it on, let it dry. And then if you want to see how I did this design, where it's a 3D design with two different colors, completely nail polish, uh, watch the other video that I have up there about that. And then I just went ahead and took the two colors that I used in the first design and painted them alternate fingers. Um, again, it's the uh, wet and wild, fast dry, the blue is saved by the blue, and then fast dry, wet and wild, the wonder years, or sorry, the wonder yellows by um, wet and wild again for those. It doesn't really matter for this what color you are doing your nails. It's usually um, pretty much better to do one color and just have it be a regular color um, as the color itself is not really the focus of the nail. Um, we're going to actually write on rice and then adhere that to our nail and have that be the main focus of our nail. However, um, where I did the other one and it's yellow and blue, I went ahead and painted my fingers yellow and blue to kind of make it so that, um, there, that way you can see better, to kind of make it so you can see the, the rice on difference on uh, light polish and dark polish. So um, what, I, what you will need is you will need to have your nails painted and dry of whatever color you want and then just a top coat that is um, a pretty good adherative one. This is just LA Colors. I got it at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got it at Dollar Tree. It's a strengthener. It was a buck. You know, I I don't spend a ton of money on the name brand polishes just because I don't really think it's necessary for a lot of the designs. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a little frog in my throat. Anyways, um, and then what you will need is you'll need a pair of, of tweezers. Believe it or not, I am not an artist with... Um, polish and um, paint. I actually am horrible with paint and um, drawing and all that sort of stuff, but I do a lot of different arts where I have different medias that I work in. And so while I do these paint things, I kind of make up for the lack of being able to do finite details and stuff with the polishes and with the paint brushes with making it up with other ways. Um, other you know, stickers or, or whatever. Anyways, so um, you'll have the, uh, again, the top coat, a pair of tweezers, and then you will need a very fine tipped pen that's waterproof. This one is a Micron. It's 005, number one, um, archival ink. It's got a 0.20 millimeter mm line width. Um, this is not the best pen to use to write on rice with. A lot of the people who do it professionally um, use 0 0.18 or 0 0.13 uh, millimeter line widths to write on it to give it a, a really good narrow thing so you can write better. Um, I just bought this at Michael's it was like two ninety nine, something like that. I wasn't going to spend a ton of money on it because I'm just barely getting into it. But I think it's fun nonetheless. Um, and basically, uh, sometimes... Oh, you need to make sure it's waterproof. Sorry. You just give it a, a good little shake. And then they usually... Uh, when you go and you see those things where they write your name on the rice, they usually use like a clay or something to hold it. This is actually just one of those movable erasers or whatever and I use it to hold the rice when I write on it. And I've already written on two of them. I don't know if you can read that because my camcorder or video cam is ancient. The top one says Nell and then the bottom says you. Yeah, 
it's not focusing. I'm sorry. But anyways, um, I'm gonna I saved the buy because I'm gonna put three on so nails by you. Yeah, I know. Whatever. <laughs> But you just take a piece of rice. A lot of people use like long grain rice. Um, I just use this because this is what I have. Um, technically, you're supposed to get a really sharp like um, razor blade and shave part of the rice off, so you have a nice smooth surface to write your rice on. To write on. Um, too much effort. Too much. You know, risk of getting cut. I just I can't be bothered with that. So yeah. So I take the rice and I stick it in this, you know, it's, like I said, it's one of those movable racers. I always think they're more fun to play with than use, but anyways, um, putty, silly putty works, Play-Doh works. As long as it's something that's got a somewhat good consistency that won't push the rice all the way through and will hold it for you. Sorry, I can't do this directly so you can see it because I can't write upside down on rice. I'm not that cool. But yeah, you just take this pen, and as you may or may not be able to see, the uh, width of this, I don't know if you can see here, you can see the silver, but the width of the black part is so small, my camera won't even pick it up. Anyways, okay, so you take it, and you slowly write in capital letters. I'm writing the B now. And then... Why? I wrote it a little bigger since there's only two letters on it. Usually they write them um, left to right or right to left, depending on which way you're handed. Let me see if I can get it there. Anyways, but this one I wrote vertically because we're uh, how we're going to be put on the nail. It's actually going to be read by people looking at your nails versus you looking at your nails. So that's how I put it there. So now I've got the nails by you on three different grains of rice. And then you just take your top coat. And I thought I could open it was stuck a little bit. Those top coat's almost gone, so I'm having to uh, put size. You put a little bit of a generous layer on it so it's nice and wet. And then you take your tweezers you pick up take the rice out you pick it up I guess you can just do this with your hand if you want I just usually do it by the tweezers so that way I am um, don't get my hand tacky if I can get it I'm trying to have this be a quick tutorial because my other one was so long okay, so there you go you put it on your finger. That's the first one. Let me get the bye. Oh, you know what? I actually should have put this on the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up. Oh, messed up my polish a little bit. But that's okay. I'll just have it with the other grain of rice. So, again, put the polish back, the clear on just to make it tacky. And make sure they're all f facing the way it'd be if the person came up and read your nails. So you put it on, some in the middle, press down a little bit. Top coat on the next nail. Now, my tweezers are a little too narrow to pick up the nail, the rice, excuse me, normally. So I did have to um, just kind of stretch them out a little, by, like this, to uh, be able to get it to grip it. Top coat on the third nail. Now, you can put rice on each of your nails, or you can put them on, you know, just one or whatever. And you can really write anything you want on your nail. This one I obviously customized to the um, contest here. However, you can do them for graduations, you can do them for weddings, you can just do them for, you know, whatever reason, baby showers. Just put it on. You want to try to get it in the middle. 
but and then you take the top coat sorry I should have used one that was more full you just lightly put a thick coat over the top and this is why it it's really important that your um, ink that you buy is oh, I should have gotten a more full top coat sorry is waterproof just because you are layering it on um, and you just make sure it's got a good hearty amount um, I usually do um, a medium consistency for each coat of my top coat when I first put it on but before I go out and I do a lot with these nails it's a lot like uh, putting rhinestone on your nails so the more top coats you have the opportunity to put on your nail before you wash your hands or get in the car or you know wash the dishes or something of that sort will make a huge huge difference on how long the rice stays on your fingers but there now I've topped all three of them with just one kind of medium build uh, of the top coat and here they are the three fingers with the nails uh, I wish my camera was better show the one that one is the one that says nails this blue one here says bye and this one says you so you can just kinda create your own messages on rice where I'm on your fingers and people look at your fingers and they're just like what the heck is that on your fingernail and when they look look at it and see that you've not only attached rice on your nail but that it's got writing on it they think it's the coolest darn thing ever anyways um, I kinda like it better with the dark coating because as you can see on the blue it really makes it pop but I know not everyone <coughs> excuse me likes to wear really dark nail polish so that's why I done the light as well but let me put it down so you can see them better there you go so that's just a little view and again if you the sticker on the nail and then there's the an entry to nails by you contest by Reticia. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.